viewers, what's up? I hope you are doing greatly. You know, say, um, yesterday I've been post one video given uh, concerning King Mswati, the king of um, Swaziland, will be one of the African countries. I've been telling you, say, the man don't mandate every man with him for him country, say, then go marry five women. What did I tell you yesterday with that? So that matter never ends, it still continue. The king himself, remember that country, now be the only country of Africa where we still they practice uh, monarchy, where still they practice a uh, kingdom. They don't get president, they don't get a uh, military head of state or civilian president. Now king then get, you know, and that king, now they take over the whole country, they look after all the chiefdoms. You know, so that king, as we speak, and I don't marry 15 wives already. And the Papa were born and married 125 wives. So that king, the culture of that their land, they say every year the king must marry new wife. He go take one wife every year. He go marry one wife. So as he be say the king in that day already with uh, 15 wives. Now he be say if God will keep on 50 years more to come, now he say go marry 50 more years, uh, 50 more wives out of the one gets. And if say God will keep a hundred years to come, I be say every year will marry new new wives. I be say go marry another hundred wives joined to the one where he gets. No wonder when him father marry plenty of wives, like one hundred twenty-five uh, wives. Now another interesting thing where I want to show you uh, concerning this their marriage. Now the ceremonies where they surround this uh, uh, marriage. Now only virgin, now in this king they marry. Only virgin in the marry. Then every year around August, September, according to their culture, all the whole young girls, virgin waiting for that country, eh? then go gather like in a festival like this. We go last for eight days. They will come there dance, you know, around um, the stage so that the king will not choose one when you marry as a virgin. Even the king himself get the authority to, to test, to know whether. The one where one marry whether not a virgin in be or in the no man. So now the culture be that. And these girls eh, before as they go to dance around for the king the to you know choose. They don't they wear anything for up, they don't they wear any bra to cover themselves. So we can not talk too much, we can show you the video. Watch I'll be right back. African culture is expressed in incredibly interesting ways, from arts and crafts to religion, clothing, music and languages among others. Expression of culture are abundant within Africa, with large amounts of cultural diversity being found not only across different countries, but also within a single country. A Swatini, formerly and still commonly known in English as Swaziland, is located between Mozambique and South Africa. The Kingdom of Swaziland is old, peaceful and the last traditional kingdom in Africa. The Swazi people proudly preserve their rich culture and tradition which they love to share with visitors, making Swaziland a vibrant and fun place to experience in Africa. dance also known as umhlanga is the most spectacular ceremony which is held annually in the month of august to september the event sees people travel from far and wide just to witness this remarkable ceremony the red dance which dates back to the 1940s sees women from all over swaziland mostly virgins and unmarried who come to liberate to the queen mother 
As part of the tradition, the girls collect reeds that are later used to make a new enclosure around the Queen Mother's home. On the last day of the festival, the young women or maidens parade bare-breasted at the royal village. His Majesty can also be seen making his rounds to salute the girls as they cheer him on. Traditionally, the king is allowed to choose one of the women as a wife. However, in the recent years, the festival has been more about preserving their cultural heritage. It means a lot. It means I should, I should take care of myself, I should grow up as, as who I am. <laughs> Naomi Wanjala, Telatel reports. Welcome back, viewers. You don't watch video where they try to explain. You know, the thing, I know you're going to wonder, some of us say, for this modern age, eh, now you still get people who practice that kind of uh, culture where we see young women, virgin, go just the dance one, half naked, for the king to choose who in your man. Yes, it's still there. You don't see them with your eyes. But one thing I want to tell I know some of you will say, to fear acqua, which kind of culture be this? One thing I be one thing you know, I be say, for school, then teach me, say, no culture is better than the other one. So if where you come from, they only do that kind of thing, eh? You know me, say people what they do and say, uh, no, they don't be human being. Uh, you feel, look there, you call them, say they're they barbaric, they're they savage, they're they, they primitive. That one now your own be that. No matter which name you call them, eh? Which I don't learn, we say, no culture is better than the other culture. So if they do that, where you know they do, that one no me say you get the one where you do, they do, eh? Where we see if they see and they go say to fear which kind of culture be like this. So now so you be please um love this video, share it. Please subscribe to this channel. Like I, I advertised earlier, this channel a multi-purpose channel, documentary, uh, history, so Archaeological discoveries or stories where they happen, events, fashion, nothing way, know the future for this uh, channel. Until I come your way next time, God bless you. Thank you.